Right, it appears that I am actually live now, so hello everybody. Just come on a little bit earlier tonight because Sean and Mark are running a little bit late and I thought um, I would check out my new, got a new uh, C920 webcam. So I thought, uh, and a new tripod so I can do some uh, table cam footage while I'm online. So I thought I'd just check that out while there was no one else in, uh, on the uh, the feed with me so how is everyone doing then let's have a look at chat then a minute see what we've got here Michael Bajijia I hate that name I can never say it Mighty Zolberg what's up I'm not doing any swearing today because at the end of the day I was supposed to be getting a test run at seven o'clock but Mark uh, decided not to bother again so what will happen probably because we've got I'm using OBS and I've got the big screen in the middle in order to get to the other two on I need to load up VC and then I need to have a conversation with them drag the screens put them in to OBS and it could all start getting a little bit messy later on but we will have a go but uh, you can't blame me if it all goes tits up and I'm not going to have a meltdown today because uh, fuck it whatever happens will happen if need be, we might have to just cancel the stream and do it on Hangouts because it's uh, a little bit easier. So, what's up, Brian, Jordan, Dion, the vape man, Shane Gibson, Robert Clark, Kevin, Gammy Ginn, Jason, Mark Benson, John John, Mark Hicks, and Mark White. Right, what's up, then, everybody? So, can you all hear me, I presume? Is the sound okay? Turn your volume up. Right, okay. It should be quite loud. I've got the game right up on this. One, two. Is that better? I can't believe that you can't hear it because it sounds really loud out of my headphones. One, two, one, two. Full volume on, on OBS as well. So, is it loud enough? Yeah, turn up your computer or your stereo or whatever you're using because it sounds really loud in my headphones. So nothing wrong with the levels on OBS or anything so it might be just whatever you're watching it on if you can't hear it in fact I'm going to turn it down because it's doing my brain in right that's better one two right let's just tell you what I'm vaping on them I'll put it on the uh, download camera in a minute as well and I'll show you these but we have got the doggy style style uh, atomizer here 2k18 which is the top fill version that's on the artery nugget version 2 we've got the k's stacked on the uh, aspire sky star mod which i got in a sale the other day for 20 quid really good mod we've got the shogun shogun rda and the top side there the Shogun's by Vapors Cloud. We've also got the VCMT2 and the, what's this one called? The Yosta Liverpool something like that, 200 mob. We've also got some pods as well, but we'll do a little download section in a minute and I'll show you them. Because we've also got the Druga Foxy, which I've got lots of warnings that keep coming up with this because... Um, yeah, uh, I think I might have the batch one or batch two which had issues because I did speak with all, all vape and they told me that um, they've sorted it for the third and third batches apparently. So, multi mods, yeah. When you changed the gain on the mic, it didn't change it on the cast. Well, it's at full volume on uh, OBS, mate, so you shouldn't have a problem hearing it. Let's have a look.
yeah, the mic says it's uh, full volume on here. So not sure what's going on there. Let's have a look on audio. Let's What's up, Damien? Tuned in UK. I wasn't turning it down. I was turning the volume, the headphones down, Gamigan. I've left the the volume of the actual gain, which is on the front of the mic, that is up. I was just, it was too loud in my headphones. That's all I was turning down. You're confusing me now, brother. Kentucky Vapor. What's up? Yeah, that's all it is. The, the volume levels are fine on OBS. It's all going into the orange, which is fine, and it's not clipping. So if you've got an audio problem, it must be at your end, everybody. What's up, Mark Taylor, TBD? How did I get into reviewing? Well, I, st I watched quite a lot of videos because I've been vaping about six years or so. Got into the rebuildables about uh, two or three years ago and watched a lot of YouTube videos such as Mike Vapes, uh, Rip Trippers. I started off watching Rip Trippers, how to recoil and rewick uh, stock wall tanks like the Pro Tank 2 and the Sub Tank Mini. And uh, then I started just watching YouTube, other uh, reviewers out there, TVP, Vaping Postman. We've got uh, Vaping with Vic, Biker, Todd's Reviews, a lot of them. And I just suddenly thought, um, I was buying a lot of stuff, a lot of RTAs and stuff, and I thought I might have a go at that because I, I used to do, be a musician, I used to play in bands, I, I uh, used to do recording, made my own techno back in the 90s, so I'm uh, quite actually uh, technically apt, even though I'm not, when it comes to using OBS, but um, I like doing editing, stuff like that. I did a music course in the mid 90s, like doing <laughs> editing to video and stuff like that, so I thought, yeah, I want to get back into doing that sort of thing. So I'm used to broadcasting as in playing in the band and stuff like that. So that's just how it came about. So here I am a year and a little bit down the line. Swirling Merc. 4-3 with black bars. Yeah, that's one thing I need to work out how to put it in 16 by 9 on OBS because it doesn't seem to... Do it. I could stretch the picture and get rid of the logos, but the only reason we've got it like that is because I've got the logos on either side. And when Mark and Sean turn up later, it isn't going to look like this anyway because I'll have to shrink my picture down and add them in. So, yeah, that's just when you use OBS, it tends to put it as a square picture. And even if you right click on it, there's nothing I can see on there that actually changes it to actually fit the actual OBS. So, if anyone in chat knows how to do it, uh, let me know. Like I say, I usually use Hangouts or uh, Zoom when we use it on Mark's feed, but I, I don't pay for Zoom because it's £10 a month or something, and I can't afford to do it at the moment. So there you go. Yeah, the Shogun's pretty good. I'll, I'll go down low. We'll have a good look in a minute because I'll check out the other uh, camera. Right, so I lost what I was going to say because someone uh, started saying about the 4-3, winding me up. How did I get into reviewing? Yeah, so basically that was it. I just was doing a lot of watching reviews, buying a lot of stuff, and I thought, well, I can do some of that. So that's what happened, basically. I've spent a lot of money recently. I bought a new tripod. We've got a um, new webcam. Got it in the Amazon sales. Spent about two or three hundred pounds on Black Friday. So it's not like I don't spend a lot on this channel. I buy a lot of stuff. Most of the stuff that I review has been purchased by me. I know recently I've got a few free items, but most of it is actually purchased by me. So hence I try to keep it affordable. So you don't see me buy Nihi mods or anything that's um, over about 40 or 50 pounds normally, just because of the fact that I've got to pay for it myself. What's up, MBK Vapor Reviews? Check out Danny, everybody, MB MBK Vapor, another YouTube reviewer. Top bloke. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I noticed earlier that I'm approaching 2,000 subs. I'm on 1,971. So if anyone is just joining me in this uh, chat or knows anybody, 
ask them to drop me a little sub because I want to get up to 2,000. 29 more to go, guys. So started on October 2017. It's now December 2018 and I've nearly hit 2,000. We've got just over 200,000 views as well on the channel. So I'm feeling pretty good about the, how the channel was actually going. So big thanks to each and every one of you subscribers out there and anyone that interacts, uh, leaves me comments, all of that sort of malarkey, really does um, make it all worthwhile. Because like I say, if no one's going to interact with the channel, what's the point of doing it? But uh, yeah, I seem to be doing pretty well. So yeah, if anyone's watching this, just stumbled across it, give us a little sub. It, um, it would mean the world to me to get up to 2,000 subs. So thank you very much. Yeah, Kentucky Vapor, it is expensive, man. I've spent an absolute fortune on this uh, channel already. And I still do. I, I do get some stuff sent to me now, but I'm still buying a good deal of this stuff that I'm reviewing. So, yeah, if, if you want to take it seriously, you've got to put the the, the finance and the funds in to, uh, to do it. It depends what you want to do, really. But um, if you want to get... Uh, subs and followers whatever else and views you've got to put out regular content so that's what I've been doing for the past year and a bit two videos a week at least I put up three this week as well and I also have to work full time so if you look at the bags under my eyes uh, you'll, you'll understand that um, why Sean Beasy made me oh of course mate yeah of course let's see if anyone's actually speaking to me on uh, Facebook because I'm not sure when they're going to turn up I think it's about half eight nine o'clock or so right so we've got 71 watching what's up everybody who's not actually in chat nice to see you all right so I think what we're going to do is now we've had a a bit of a knitter N knitter what's a knitter a natter even I'm going to flick it down to the table cam and we'll um, have a look at some of the things that I've just been sent in. What's up, Ben Vape? Simon Johnson. Message retracted. What, why did you retract your message? Or was that someone else who retracted it? Trigger Vape. Still say you're going to be the first one to reach 100,000k subs at a payoff in the end. Well, there's lots of reviewers that have got over 100,000. So that's... Uh, <laughs> That's not right. Anyway, what you're saying, mate. Mike Vapes has got 230,000. I think Bogan's got quite a few now as well. Rip Trippers has got one point something million. MF8, you're not a dick. People appreciate that angle in the review area. Thank you very much, mate. Mobin Hack, you are one of the very few unpretentious reviewers left man keep it real I always keep it real mate even if I'm given something I will keep it real because if you watch a number of my reviews you'll see that I don't always uh, lick companies ass if I don't like it I'll say it you've got to be if you're going to be doing reviewing you don't just say something's good because it's a name or whatever or if you've got it for free you have to be totally honest with it and point out the flaws and the pros as well Right, Right. what I'm going to do, you lot can carry on chatting away. This is a work in progress, this, so I'm going to switch it over to the table cam and we'll have a look um, at some of the new stuff that I've been sent in or I've purchased. Thanks, Luz. All right, so just bear with me. I'm going to stand up to do this. And we'll just put it over to the other cam. Right, let's just see if it works. Probably won't be in focus because it's the... You're not going to hear me either. Let's just move this mic around a little bit. Right. See that? That's a bit shite. It's not brilliant quality, but um, I have to do. Let's see if I can change the. Let's 
focus. So trouble with um, C920, I've got the autofocus is shocking on it. That's it there. So bad, does it? Yeah, we've got a fade in transition, that's automatic. Right, so the first thing we've got here is the Y Pub kit by Yosta. You can see there, here's the packaging that it comes in. So it includes a battery, you've got one pod, user manual, USB cable, and a warranty card. So there's not a lot going on on the packaging. So this is a quick look around it. Looks like your, um, what's that smock one called? The Rolo badge, that sort of thing, doesn't it? It's quite a weighty one, this one, as well. So let's just take this pod out. Just get juice everywhere. Quick look inside there. Usual thing going on with these pods. We've got, um, to fill it up, you have to take out this silicone grommet thing and I'm not sure if this one came with it I think it was the other two wasn't it? I um, it's not too bad flavour on that one but I did buy some Nick salts the other day just show you Ionic I got it from uh, Electric uh, Tobacconist I think in the UK so it's only 20 milligrams because that's the, the maximum you can get. But I have put some in it, but to be honest, I um, there was already some liquid in it because I already put my free base liquid in, which is about six milligrams. So haven't really given it a good uh, test in that uh, Nick Salts yet, but to, the review for this one will be up shortly. But it's actually not a bad little pod. So that's that one. What's up, Lethal Corps? I haven't actually got my eyes on the screen at the moment. I'm trying to do some download section, but uh, try and turn the PC around a little bit. So that's the first pod from Yoster Tech. Well, something else I got from Yoster Tech was the Liverpool 200 box mod. And quick look in the box. There you go, so you do get a user manual. So I've had this all week, in fact. So, yeah, 200 watt box mod. I don't believe it goes up to 200, it might do, but um, I don't go up to those sort of wattages. What we got on top here is the VCMT2, which is from Vapors Cloud, which I paid £18 on Black Friday, 30 millimeter beast. And as you can see, it actually fits on there. Trouble is, it's leaking a bit. Did wick it up for the first time last night. But I'm not a big fan of it. It's not the best flavour in the world, this tank. Just take that off because it's leaking all over the place. Yeah, the FP pisses all over it, in my opinion. So I probably won't use that one very much. But this one here, it's made out of um, some sort of ABS plastic. It'll probably tell me on the box, but I haven't read it. It's dual 18650. It weighs as light as you like. It's really like the Tesla Y. But it fits a 30 millimeter Atti on it. So really good. That's the screen. Nice bright screen on this one too. Look on the bottom. Master Roshi 200, whatever that is. So that's the Liverpool 200. David Cheek, I'm not going to do any moons on here. Big thanks for the two pound donation, buddy. Many thanks. Right, so that's the Yosta Liverpool. I always want to say Liverpool when they um, reading that. Does look like a Tesla. It's a little bit more comfortable there. This one, you can just see you've got the nice rounded edges on it, and it does fit a thirty millimeter atty with no overhang. So really impressed with it this week couple more pods we've got this is called the IQ uh, who's it by I can never remember was it Hanson or something like that it's all in foreign language 
It's called the Vape Smart Vape IQ. I'd have to look on the email, but I think it's called Hangson or something like that. So this one, it's a trouble. I've got three pods in this week. And I, I'm not really an avid pod fan. The best one I've had so far is the Film Tech pod because that one actually works really well. But yeah, we get your usual USB charging cable. Did send me a pack of pods as well. Where is the pod? What have I done with it? So this one looks like this. It's actually got a screen if you take it apart. I'll try and make it take it apart. So you get a little screen that comes up, tells you your battery power, and it says puff. It doesn't actually give you a puff counter. But it's a nice little sleek looking one. Quick look at the pod. Usual goings on. This one does come with a, a nice filler bottle though. So, because it does need a really needle tip bottle to fill this one. You've got to take this bit off here. Get your bottle in there. Yeah, but if you just use your normal unicorn bottles, it tends to just come out. Because you need to get that needle right in there to fill it up. But, um, yeah, I'm not that overly impressed with this one, to be honest. So if they start hassling me, tell me to get the review up, they're going to get a shit review. Because I did buy some of that Nick salts because I thought I need to try some of this in some of these pods to give it a fair review. Because I just normally use six milligram free, free base in my mouth alone. And it isn't really hitting the mark. So we'll have to see what this stuff's like and watch out for the review later on. Now the other one that came from uh, this Vape Smart Vape IQ is this smaller one. And it's got, it's got this little button and the pod just pops up. God, and it's shit and it doesn't work. There you go. And that pulls out like that. A little bit of effort. So another pod going on. Like I say, this one doesn't make that great either, but I <coughs> do need to try it on my Nick Salts to give it a fair, get a fair little test. So that is that. So, so that's the pods out of the way. What's up? Oh. Right. Nice. Right. Oh, no, it's bad for it, wasn't it? You're live on YouTube, bro. Yeah. How's it going, mate? All right. Nah, shit. We wanked. Can't finish. You leave that day, please. Nah, we shit. Yeah, but you still. What's up, Goober? Well, you still got time, haven't you? Couple of beers, TVD. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. Sad birthday, wouldn't it? Be she got to see. Right. Yeah. Right. 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 Not really. Not really. <laughs> right. Unlucky guys, all right. Well, 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 well the boys have just lovely. come back Bye. from watching football in Leicester, so it wasn't a very good day for Watford today. So, unfortunately, right, Chris Grant, what's up? Right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Fatality. I've actually had this one for two or three weeks, but I've got it all boxed up again because I will review it at some point. But I am a little bit worried about reviewing the old clones at the moment, so hence um, I haven't put any on the channel recently because Lethal Causes in chat got a three-month uh, or 90-day live ban from doing a clone. So anyone out there that's bugging me to do clones, the reason being is because... Um, I don't want to get my, my channel struck off uh, YouTube. So what I'm thinking of doing is uh, maybe putting them on VapeTube only, my clone reviews. So you'll have to just bear with me because I'm not going to risk my channel for the sake of doing a clone. But we have got the fatality here. We've got dual, dual airflow going on. It's all bayonet sort of fitting stuff this is. It's all sort of locked in. Same with the base. Fuck it. It's easier to do it when it's on a mod. Let's put it on there. Right, there you go. Look inside there. It's the Fatality. Mm. This is from Fast Tech. You can get it for $14 at the moment. 
Yeah, clone safe on vape tube, Emperor. That's what I was just saying, mate. That's what I'm going to be doing. I I do think so. Uh, yeah, everyone spread the word to try and get some subscribers over onto vape tube as well, because I've only got about eighty three subscribers. So and I'm sure there'd be a lot of people who would be interested in these clones as well. Yeah, I could do the video lethal, but at the moment I'm a little bit worried about it, mate. I don't want to give them uh, any ammunition. Because like I say, the channel is going pretty well at the moment, so I don't really want to be risking it for the sake of doing the clone. But here's the build that I've got in here at the moment. You've got some really big airflow coming from the bottom there and from the side. And these airflow slots, this one adjusts the side airflow and the other one's the bottom, I do believe. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit too easy to adjust that airflow on this, but it's a $14 mod. But it's on a bayonet fit in there, so you do it in. We've got juice flow there. Uh, but yeah, cracking flavour on the fatality. We've got the Druga Foxy underneath. Now, this is something else that I've got um, given, actually, from Orvate Direct. And my one's got a bit of a problem because it, it's put up a different tank on it. Yeah, I've got a lot of clone style ones on my channel, TBD, but the fact that Lethal got that strike again, it's just, it's made me a little bit worried, mate. So here is the Foxy. We've got these removable panels here. This is from Orgvate. It's called the Druga Foxy. So underneath, you'll see we've got the old uh, Ohms, Ohms and Watts Law thing going on here. Yeah, we have got power on there. That's literally just to look at. If you, we've got variable wattage and variable voltage. So this one goes up to 150 watts. I'm not rushing this review out because I've got some faults that keep coming up. And I've got battery faults and low power ones. And I've spoken with Allvape and they said it was the batch one and two which got this issue. And they said it was due to high internal resistance of the batteries. So we'll have to wait and see. They, they're not gonna send me another one because I'm obviously not a big enough reviewer. So I've just got to lump it basically. But every time I fire, it's not going to do it now because we're on camera, but most times I fire, it says battery fault on it, but it still will fire. So there's not an actual uh, problem in firing. It's just bloody annoying. Uh, I think Devil Vapor noticed it on Thursday night too. But we've got dual 18650s, no temperature control, but this one really does hit very well. Uh, and all Vapor told me that the, the third batch, which the latest batch, will have that uh, issue addressed, the battery fault one. But I can't believe it isn't doing it now because we're actually live, but trust me, it, it does come up with a battery fault warning for no particular reason. But that's the Foxy, and this really is a nice mod. And if it didn't have that um, issue going on, it'd be great. But you can change it to the variable voltage by just adjusting that. I think we go up to, I can't quite remember, what's it go up to? 6.5 volts in rounds robin round robins again there you go so firing away at voltage mode as well seems to be working okay now without doing the the warning but um, yeah it's a little bit temperamental like i said it doesn't affect the performance it just comes up with the actual warning on the screen so you'll have to wait for my review because i did tell all they and I said I'm going to get, keep it for a two, two or three more weeks and do the test after <coughs> a thorough testing. So that is that. Right, so we've got the fatality. I will record that at some point. The manic stereo, what's up? Right, we've got the juggernaut here as well which is obviously not the original because I'm too tight to pay £85 for it or whatever it is. This is from Fast Tech 2. And this is my favourite uh, one out of the two because it's more restrictive, the vape. We've got top airflow on it, but the flavour is absolutely banging on it. They are, they both are, the fatality is as well. But I just prefer the vape I get from the, the JK or Juggernaut. 
that's what it looks like inside there. Here's the build that I've got in. Uh, the one thing with this, it comes with this absolutely minute Allen key for the grub screws, which is a really big con in my opinion. Because yeah, if you've got an adjustable, one of those kits with Allen keys in, you might find one that fits. But the only one I've managed to find that fits is this particular one, so you don't want to lose it. Uh, because we're talking, it looks like about 1.2 millimeter or something, not even that. So yeah, a little bit of a con, but this is top airflow, this one, and not the best threads, but this really is a flavor banger. You can't undo it now. Drop it on the floor. of shite well it did used to undo very well but I can't seem to do it back up again I lost an o-ring I think I've lost an o-ring in the bottom there should be an o-ring going around that side there I can't see it so no wonder it isn't doing up properly absolute That is a real bugger with some of these tanks. When you like, wash them down the sink, yesterday I lost a, a peak insulator down the bloody, down the sink when I was cleaning out the Shogun. Uh, it just came off and then went straight down the plug hole, never to be seen again. So, which is the next thing I'm going to show you now. Juggernaut Mini, yeah, but it only holds two millilitres of e-liquid, that one, doesn't it? So that's not a lot of good. Uh, anything that's under three or four millilitres, I don't like. A single core, though, isn't it? So, yeah, I will have a look for it. Like I said, I've got about 25, 30 things on the go at the moment, so I'm not going to be getting anything else in a, in a hurry. I've got too much to review as it is. But here's this Shogun by Vapors Cloud, and it comes with two different top caps. Did I not bring it out there? Just bear with me a sec. Keep knocking everything on the floor. Right, so it comes in a little bag like this. I got it from the Black Friday sale, direct from Vapors Cloud. And it comes with this little cap as well. That's what it looks like inside. So we haven't got much doming going on or anything. Look inside that one. So we've got a 510 fitting drip tip, single coil only. Here's the build that I've got in it. And the camera isn't focusing very well there, but a little far. We've got it on the top side here. Look at the airflow, sort of angled over at the sides. But I found that this cap here gives really good flavour without actually adjusting it. Because you'll find that when you do adjust it, if I put the other cap on, you can sort of adjust it round a little bit, but it ends up sort of going like that. So it's not really adjustable because you end up start doing this situation. So 
I tend to, if you want a restricted vape, just put on the one with the two holes on it, and it's a really good flavour banger, this one. So that's the Shogun by a Vapors Cloud. It also does come with this crappy plastic beauty ring to boost out the 24 millimetres, millimetres, I should say. But um, I just can't see the point in using that. But, uh, that's that. Right, what else have we got? Anyone still in chat? Excuse me for ignoring you. Matty, Carlo, what's up, Goober? Well, yeah, it does look a bit, I've never had the Hadley, but I know everyone always raves about it, but I've got so many atties, these single cord squonking atties, and they all look pretty much the same. We have got a little logo going on with it as well. Can't really see. So. But uh, yeah, I've got so many. Supersonic, uh, the Skyfall, the Air Lab. It's not going to let me. Not going to let me adjust it now, because OBS is shite. Very unstable. Right. Next thing we've got. The Aspire Skystar. Now I got this for about twenty pound as well. Turn on upside down. It's got a touch screen on it. Bloody good mod this one is. Got the blue camo. For twenty pounds, you know what I mean? It's got to be worth a shot. Got it in the Black Friday so it says it goes up to two hundred and ten watts. Nice scroll on it. That's that. Put the K stacked on here. So it looks like you're only going to be getting away with about 25, 25, 26mm on the top, even though it does bulge out to about 30. So this is a dual 18650. Can't get the cap off at the moment. You need to get your nail in there. I haven't got any nails, but uh, yeah, decent little little mod for twenty pounds. So if you want to, where did I get this one from? Uh, I think it was E Sig One, something like that. I, I can't quite remember because I did buy a lot of stuff from a lot of different vendors. But yeah, that's that. We've also got. Any lovers of the supersonic out there, which is from Vapanor, which is one of my favourite tanks that I only had to clone. We've got the hypersonic here, which is from Fast Tech. A bit of a weird looking device, this one. I haven't actually built built on it yet, but that's that's what it looks like. Inside it looks like we've got some sort of autumn going on. And we've got the airflow coming through the sides. I don't know if this comes out. I think it does. There we go. Yeah, so that's that's that. And then we've got the airflow. You can just see those sort of tubes that go down. So it is angled. Angled down towards the coil. So I'm interested in, in using this one. I just haven't had time to actually use it yet. But this is from Fast Tech. This is YFTK, this version. I think you might be able to get the SXK one as well. Yeah, so this is the Le Hypersonic. And it doesn't twist very well because it needs lubing up. What have we got on top? I think that's a 510 fitting drip tip. Yeah, it is. Fucking hell, I hate these things. When you first get some things, they never go back together again because they're so dry. That's my Sweden. Can't get the bloody drip tip back on now.
Yeah, so that's the hypersonic. It doesn't look very nice. It looks like a bag of shite, but um, we'll have to see what it vapes like because, like I say, the supersonic was one of my favourite atties. So you yeah, something else actually that I've got that I've been testing. This is the Mason or Mason, which is by New Gen. What's it called? New Gen Tech. This is a quality vape. This is. I prefer this uh, over the Kylin Two myself, which I have bought recently. But there's the deck on there. You just see we've got the honeycomb airflow underneath. But it's a nice restrictive vape, so it's right up my street. This one. I haven't reviewed it yet, but I need to. I've got to review all of these things, but it's getting the time to actually record them. But yeah, the, the Mason, New Gen Mason, I think you can get it on Nature Vape. Really nice tank, this one. So where is my Kylin 2? Since we're talking about it. Yeah, deep well, what's that, the hypersonic? I haven't used it yet, but yeah, it has got a deep well. Right, we've got the Kylin V2 here. Nice resin dripped up on top. It's a bit wide for my liking, but it does fit your 810 fitting ones. But you have got this ridge at the top, so some of yours are just going to come uh, come in a little bit. So, And if you notice in there, if you've got longish, uh, this bit here, some of them end up sitting a bit proud, I've noticed, like that. So, yeah, a bit annoying, in fact. We've also got push fill on this Kylin 2, which I don't like, because I nearly broke it by trying to unscrew it, because I didn't realise it was a push fill. And then every time afterwards, I kept on trying to unscrew it, because I much prefer having threads in the push fill. So it's a little bit loose, and it feels like it's a bit grunchy in my book. And I've paid for this, but look, it's getting stuck. Piece of shite. So, um, yeah, I wasn't a fan of the original one, and I'm not a fan of this one, too. So, anyone out there who says this is the best thing since sliced bread, I don't think it is. My top cap's nearly broken, in fact. So, watch out for the review. I'm going to test this one for another week or so, because I'm not happy the way that that's doing that. Uh, and the fact that they should have a bigger marker to tell you where to push as well. But, uh, yeah, it's decent flavour. It's a nice flavour but I just I prefer the vape you get from the K stacked or the FP or the, the Mason or there's loads of other ones the Bill OX that are just as good as the Kylin 2 I put a single coil build in last night because I wanted to see what it was like in single coil as well so we've got a 4mm inner diameter coil going on and it isn't bad actually I'm quite enjoying it but it's um just annoying. Why did they put a crappy push fill? It's like a smock product on the top. At least with threads, you know that they're going to last a little bit longer. Like Because this thing, you know, why is it making that sound? It just feels crap. So I'm not very happy with a Kylin 2. But uh, yeah, so don't expect a glowing review. It does taste pretty good, but like with the first Kylin, I had all sorts of troubles and ended up having to contact the vendor and they never replaced it. So maybe I'm a little bit biased. So there you go. So I think that's about it really. So let's bring it back up top, shall we? Have a look at my ugly mug. Right, so here we are. So I don't know if I've heard from the other Herberts, but I've got a stinking headache, so I might have to end this one soon anyway. So, what's going on? Hiya, Sarah. What's up, Ian? Ian Hopkins. Right, so that was a few first looks of stuff that's come in recently to the channel. What's up, Dragon Man? I'm not having trouble with OBS, Dragon Man. It's just a case of learning how to use the program, mate. And I don't get enough time because I have to work all, all day, every day. 
What's up, Nita? So, yeah, I was hoping to get a little video chat with TVP. He said, oh, fancy a chat at seven o'clock, and of course he doesn't turn up. So we could have um, sorted it out, so we could have done a test run. But um, he said to turn up at seven, and then I didn't hear back from him. So if it, no one else turns up soon, I'm gonna call it an end to this stream, because I've got a headache. So, fuck them all, is all I can say. What's up, UK Andy? Yeah, so it's 8.25. We've been nearly going an hour now. So, thanks for everyone who has turned up tonight. It really is appreciated. Let's have a little vape then. We're going to have a go on the stacked RTA. Trying to work out how to use this Aspire mod. You have to stroke up twice for it to actually work. I've had a beer, Carlo. I woke up with a headache today and it hasn't gone away. <laughs> Real from the back of my neck. So, yeah, a little bit annoying. Cheers, Lethal. How are you doing, mate? Right, what's Lou saying? Though most China companies are like it, I now point blank refuse to buy any Valley Bank product. I think they're the shadiest sort of shady practice. Yeah, I must admit, Lou's. I was in. I was really didn't want to have to buy the Kaiden two because after the Kaiden one fiasco, my chimney got stuck on. I had to use mole grips to get it off. And uh, I sent them a video of it. The threads were all a bit uh, crunchy on it. And they said there was nothing wrong with it and they wouldn't uh, give me a refund or replace it. So since then, I think I bought the Bonza because that was the Raven Bogans and I wanted to try that out, which I actually do really like. And this is the next thing I bought from them. And um, yeah, I thought I'd have to do it because it's coming up for the best of the year time. So I thought I'd better test it but like with very everything it's a much of a muchness that uh, all of these rtas are pretty similar to each other uh, so yeah it depends who you are it's very subjective like i say I've, we've got the fp i really like that one the core rta the mason we've got uh, the bill x the zeus jewel there's loads of them which all have their own characteristics even the wasp bravo really good tank so I wouldn't say this is a standout tank uh, for me personally. It really is good flavour and smooth, but I get a better hit from the stacked uh, and the FP, in my opinion. So if I were you, I'd watch a, a lot of reviews on the Kylin 2 because it isn't necessarily the best uh, tank in the world for you. And it's made from Van der Vape and their tossers. Evening Phoenix. Yeah, that Papa, the, the flip top, honestly, because I didn't even know it was a flip top at first, so I was trying to twist it. And I said, why isn't it undoing? Because of the first one I thought, I thought it was just really dodgy threads on it. Switch my wicks. No, mate, there isn't no space in here, buddy. I'm not doing that because there isn't enough soundproofing in the living room because the telly will be on and everything. This uh, mic here picks up everything. So it's just the, the same old uh, situation going on at the moment, but it's all right. It's just getting the time to actually do the reviews. We've actually got the stacked RTA review coming up next week, but I haven't recorded any others because I um, haven't had time to. I put out three this week as well. We've got the, the Farris, the... Crazy Jelly by you. We've got the Waterflow Farris and we've also got uh, the Smock Species Kit, which is a really good mod actually, and Lisa's now using that one. There's nothing wrong with the kind too. It is a really nice vape. Yeah, I'll give you a drag on it. Got that single coil in there. 0.16. Put it to something. 55 watts should do it. Single four millimeter in the diameter that is as well.
Because what I was finding with the car then, I don't like megawatts myself personally, and you do have to push the wattage up quite high on this in order for it to, to taste good. So I think that's why I'm not the biggest fan, because I don't like p pushing like 90, 100 watts down me all the time. So I put the single coil in it and I can vape it around 55, and I'm getting a more like a gentleman type vape rather than a hooligan style vape. And the flavour's pretty good on it, but it's not as good as a single core dedicated uh, RTA, such as the Zestria or the Advocan CP. They're two of my favourite single core RTAs. And the Elevate by Watofo, which we've got over here. Get this one out. Let's put that on the. Let's put it on the. Uh, the Druga Foxy. What's up, Biscuit Vapes? LCL90. It's nothing wrong with the kind, and if you haven't got many RTAs, you'll probably really love it. I, I'm just a little bit picky. Kaiden 2, like I say, Mark T, very good. I just prefer the hit you get from this. You, get, you don't have to have the wattage as high on the stack. What, this Elevate? I chose this finish actually, Luz, because um, I saw Matt, Matt Cully at Expo, and he said, what colour do I want? And I thought, I'll have that one. Because it does actually match my, um, what's that mod by H Cigar? The Wild Wolf, which I haven't got out here, actually, which I'm testing at the moment, but it matches it perfectly. Let's have a little drag on there. Really nice hit you get off this Elevate. 43 watts, uh, 0.34 corn in there, lovely. Right, Carlo, thoughts on Lost Fate mods, mate? Uh, I've got two Lost Fate mods. We've got the Lost Fate drone, which is a dual 18650 Swank device, which I've had for over two years, which I absolutely love. And the Lost Vapor, uh, what's it called? The Furion, the single 21700 Mech Squonker, which is pretty good, but it's got a bit of a, a firing issue that I found. Um, the little nut in it, you have to keep twiddling it around and cleaning it after using it for a good few months. It's okay, but um, I just don't really like anything Mech, really. I like regulated. And I've also got the Mod Define Lyra, which is the sister company to uh, Lost Vape, and that's a really hard hitting dual 18650 mod. So I think they're a good company, myself. Have you sent the email to Expo yet, Big Dripper? Uh, what about? He did email me the other day, actually, asking if I wanted to do a juice review. Philip from the Vapor Expo, the the designer bloke who does the, all the uh, flyers and what, what now what does he do the tickets and stuff but I said I wasn't interested in doing juice because I don't enjoy doing it so I, I did pass I just said I didn't want to do it base I can't remember if I recommended uh, ABC or someone or, or not but I, he never got back to me after that but he did say am I planning on going to the May Expo and I said yes but then as per normal you don't hear back Yeah, Carlo, like I say, the drone is a great device. I'm always using it in my reviews to do comparison testing for other mods because of the DNA chip in it. Now, I haven't asked for the press pass yet, but you have to wait till about two weeks before normally before they start dishing them out. Right, Nita, beginner question. Is 48 watts on the RTA? This same as 48 and a regular tank with a stock core. Um, on a, um, what are you on about? With a uh, regulated device, it all depends on the resistance of your coil. So 48 watts, 
if I just do a little example, 48 watts with a 0.16 build is um, not going to be the same as 48 watts with a 0.3 ohm build because it all dep depends on your the resistance of the core even though it's still regulated it's still obviously you have to use ohms ohms law to work out the the wattage the equivalent uh, amp draw and um, voltage that you're getting from the actual coil so yes it, it does matter because if you've got like a one ohm coil with 48 watts you're going to burn the coil out because it's too much power for a 1 ohm coil whereas on a 0.1 ohm coil it'll be fine probably really explain that very badly but um, yeah it does matter but it's all to do with your ohms and wattage law in fact if we look at the Druger again where is the Druger Got a little diagram on the front there which shows you all of the different permutations of what's a gnome's law yeah Depends on wire material as well. A good place to go actually is steamengine.org, I think it is. There's lots of comparison uh, charts on there. If you put in the resistance of your coil and the wattage and the voltage and amperage, stuff like that, it shows you like uh, the different settings for each like resistance of the coil and, and uh, what sort of batteries you're using, stuff like that. Because it depends on like the, the quality of the battery, the the uh, continuous discharge rating of your battery, in, as well. And there's so much to read up on, as a beginner. Uh, I, I just started reading up articles on forums and stuff like that. Google search it. Battery Mooch has got his own channel as well, and he explains all about battery safety using regulated mods, uh, uh, mechanical devices, and stuff like that. So it's a, a massive area to uh, research, basically. Oh, Vape Man, I know Phil's a good lad and his new juice are good, to be fair. I've been kicking the hell out of the strawberry custard all week. Yeah, Phil's good. He just doesn't always get back to you if you email him in a hurry. Yeah, I have thought about retro reviews, mate. I've got it on my phone as a reminder, but I just haven't had time to do it, mate. I've got so much stuff in at the moment. I've got a queue of about 20 items, uh, and I only do two a week, so do you know what I mean? It's going to have to be down the line, mate. What's up, Chris? How are you doing, mate? Sorry if I haven't said hello already. But yeah, Battery Mooch has also got the forums on eSig Forum, on Facebook, Instagram. Check out that. And also, if you've got a question, type it into Google and you normally do get answers. You have to watch it though because some people spout absolute tosh. But yeah, there's all sorts of variables when it comes to like the resistance you call, what sort of wire type you're using. All of that thickness of your coil, whether it's a Clapton or a round wire build, because they all ramp up differently as well. I think it's TVP is still in the office. Yeah, I haven't had any messages from anyone yet. So, what's up, Richard? Jason Caruthers. What's up, Gooba? Nick Larson TVP is probably haunting the neighbourhood for more punk IPAs. Yeah, no doubt. Oh, there's that. 
You know the O ring I was talking about earlier for that. Oh, what was it called? The juggernaut. Just found it on the floor. Gotta be really careful with that. What's up, Des Turner? Be right back, beer. Indeed, TBD. Yeah, so that's the JK deck, and I lost the O ring earlier. And I was wondering why it wasn't doing up very well. So let's just put that back in. So if anyone out there is after TVP and Sean, not sure where they are yet. They did say they were going to be late. But uh, if they don't turn up soon, I'm going to call it a, a night because I've got a bang and headache. Lisa should be in chat, mate. Oh, this sleazy beezy. Just got off work. What's up, Sean? She's got the um, Smock Species kit, Jason, which I've given there. The mod. Yes, it's a Smock, but it's a very good mod. All oh, right, you you're not ready yet, then, Sean. You're just teasing me, are you? I wouldn't worry too much, Sean, because the way I'm going at the moment, mate, I've got a banging headache, and it might be ending it soon. Right, we've got 105 people watching allegedly at the moment. So, any questions in chat? Take my mind off my headache. What should we have a go on then? Let's have a go on the stacked RTA. Yeah, still haven't heard from Mark. He's probably playing pool or something down the pub. In fact, he's probably come home and fallen asleep again, Lee, isn't he? Because that's what happened a couple of weeks ago. Mark, Mark said, yeah, I'll meet you at half eight. And he ends up turning up at half past ten because he had a little nap. He's probably asleep, Sean. Do end it. We need the show, Mike. Do end it. It will be ending, mate. Favourite RDA, it could be used on a mech. Um, I'm not an RD RDA lover, to be honest, Chris. But I think my favourite one I've had this year is the uh, the Reload X. And I've only got the clone, but the, the hit I got off that was absolutely amazing. So I do want to get hold of the original to see if it's any better than machining on it. But uh, yeah, the Reload X is probably my favourite of the year. The absolutely proper good hit you get off it. The Drop Dead is another one I like. Here's the Drop Dead here. We've also got the uh, Recall Rebel I got on with very muchly as well. But one that I've just recently reviewed on the channel is the Faris RDA. And this is a really good... Uh, little device it converts into an RDTA so if anyone's watching this you want to check out the review check it out because this is a bit gone under the radar a little bit the what's a faux Faris right let's have a little go on the Shogun single coil If you had unlimited money, what would your dream recording setup be? Your dream setup and what would definitely do differently on the channel? I don't have dreams, uh, Robert. I just do what I can with whatever I've got, mate. I don't. I don't. I'm not one of these people that thinks I need this mic, that mic, uh, this, that, and the other. 
but it'd be nice to have my own room, a soundproof room, and have everything set up so I don't have to set it up each time. And I'd obviously have a bit different backdrop to the one that I'm using at the moment. But I have ordered a couple, a couple. Uh, I ordered a Christmas backdrop, and I've also ordered one that's got planks of wood on it. So I'm hoping it looks okay. But I found out afterwards it's turning. Uh, it's bloody being delivered from China, so it'll probably turn up after Christmas. So that would be uh, just my luck. But yeah, I don't know much about what the best microphone is, the best cameras, and all that. I'll probably get a D DSLR camera. What I normally do though is that when I want something, I'll start researching into it and looking at loads of reviews and stuff like that. Uh, and then I'll probably work out what I do want. But I, I'm not one of these people that knows the ins and outs of all the best stuff in the industry before I actually go out and buy it. <laughs> yeah, I am going for the shed look, mate. Another shed wanker. Now, I just thought it looked quite nice. I thought it looked a bit better than a white backdrop. But to be honest, it's what you uh, talk about and uh, the down nose stuff and all the rest of it. It doesn't really matter what your backdrop looks like. It's what uh, the content that's in the actual review that actually matters, doesn't it? Isn't it, I should say. Yeah, Richard, I quite often look at what Vic uses and uh, yeah, no doubt I'll probably get some sort of camera that he uses. But I also like to look at what other people's opinions are like. On the on the internet and stuff like that. Now, I have I've just spent a lot of money on upgrading as it is. Uh, just got a new tripod here, so I can do my download stuff. You just look there. I've got the another C920 webcam there. A nice massive tripod. Because before I was using this um, basically using an ironing board with. A tripod that comes out that way and held on with an elastic band and that's what I've been using for the past year or so but it was one of those cheapo tripods so it wasn't really great but this uh, new one I've got here is uh, going to be a lot easier for doing the download section so looking forward to using that but I haven't actually used it apart from what we did earlier tonight What's up, Chrissy? Cyclic Scooby Flyer. She's got her own channel in here, guys, so please check it out. Should we do some shout outs? Anyone want a shout out in here? Anyone who's got their own little channel? Oh, the big dripper was in here earlier. If people want to give me a little comment and chat, we'll give you a little shout out. Hood Puffs, what's up brother? I think you have a YouTube channel, I haven't checked it out yet, but um, worth having a look guys. He's on Twitter and Instagram, but like I say, I'm so busy most of the time, going to work and stuff, I haven't always got the time to check out everybody, but I will do at some point. What's up TBD, check him out, he's got about, how many subs you got now TBD? 150, 200 so? But he's a really nice lad and doesn't put out the most reviews in the world. But when he does put them out, he speaks really honestly and uh, thorough good reviews he does. He's done a good expo vlog as well the other day. But he's another one who has to spend all of his money on most of the stuff that he reviews. Apart from the odd thing that he gets given. So yeah, it's always good to support your fellow reviewers guys. <laughs> Robert Clark, yeah, preferably a thumbs up, mate, not the dislike, but it's the same difference with the YouTube analytics, allegedly. 140, yes, let's get TBD up to 150 then, at least, guys. Give me a little sub. Trigger Bates, one of my YouTube videos has 20,000 views, and it's just me clearing my bike. That's what I mean, mate. You, if you get the right video out there, you, you're laughing, man. Right, the, the vape man. Do you want a little shout out? Is this the vape man photos? He tells his own professional photographer, I believe. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook account. So check him out. 
obviously we've got to give Sean Sleazy Beasy some more subs since he's the co-host on this show normally so we need to get him up to a lot more than 21 so please go and check him out he doesn't necessarily do reviews but it doesn't matter he's still a live broadcaster that's all right, Pud Puffs or Pud Puffs. I'm not quite sure how you say it. Right, while we're at it as well, I'm getting uh, precariously close to 2,000 subs. 25 more me needed. And uh, yeah, so it'd be very good if we could uh, hit that. It seems to be taking forever, this last 100 does. But once I get to 2,000, I may be doing a little giveaway somewhere. It might be on Facebook or Twitter or something like that because I'm not really allowed to do them on YouTube anymore. Hence, I haven't been doing them since I got to about three or 400 subs, I believe. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of you in chat that probably have got your own channels here. Cyclic Scooby Flyer. I haven't actually checked your channel out yet but i know you've got one so everyone go and have a check out of cyclic scooby flyer i'm guilty because like i say i haven't, I haven't got time to do my own channel let alone look at other people's but i do try and make the effort at some point robert yeah i i thought about it. everyone would have thought about it, but i don't really think you should be thinking about that until you've got like a larger subscriber base basically and uh, to, to be honest most of the stuff I've purchased myself on this channel uh, I've got my own opinions on Patreon I used to be dead against it because I think I'm doing reviews for people to sp spend their money on so why should they be giving money away just so they can watch a review but the, the, the more I get used to it there are lots of people out there which are, are doing it and the amount of work and time we have to put into it, I can actually understand why people have actually set them up. Because, um, yeah, I get the odd items sent in. I've had quite a few things recently sent in so I didn't have to pay for it. But to actually record the video takes a lot of time. You've got to do the editing, the thumbnails, and all the rest of it, sharing it on social media. It takes up most of my time. You just ask Lisa. I do two videos a week and it basically... I don't have any time for doing anything else and then I'll do my live show on a Saturday so at some point I might consider it but I just don't think I'm big enough to uh, to, to think about it at a moment uh, I just don't feel uh, happy about doing it but what I might do is an Amazon wish list or something like that so if you fancy donating to buy me a bit of camera equipment or some LED lights or something then fair dues but um, yeah that's my stance on that uh, if I was minted uh, I would give up doing my day job and just concentrate on this uh, fully because I do really enjoy what I do here what's up Saint Alan Burnage Vapor Yeah, Lethal Cause is in the house as well. Crystal's just put his little channel on there as well. As well. You right then, Saint? Swirling Muck, to cut down the time of videos, can't you do some live no editing? People like changes. Yeah, I could do, but doing a live video takes quite a lot of time as, as well. But I basically, that's what I've done tonight when I went down to the download doing those first looks. I'm just testing it out basically because I've just bought that extra webcam. So yeah, there is the the thought of doing that, but um, just doesn't look quite as good um, quality because I can't do any like cropping and pasting live or anything like that. But Yeah, exactly. Big dripper. When you're doing an RTA, the amount of editing just to make it fit within 20 minutes, it might take me an hour long to actually uh, actually record it. So it's whether people want to actually sit there and watch you doing it for that long as well. Because obviously, when you're rebuilding, it can take some time. 
But it is a good point, though. It's something I have considered, and I might do one soon, in fact. Because now I've got my little download section, which we can go to now. I can do a little live review, and we've got the added bit of a uh, wank rag there as well. But uh, now I've worked out how to use OBS a little bit more, we could do that. All right, you do tech, don't you, Chrissy? It takes eight to 11 hours to upload and five minute vid with my shite internet. That's what I mean, the uploads as well. I forgot about that. To actually get it onto YouTube and when you have to render the video, that takes a good hour or two as well. It depends how what quality and how long it is. Am I seeing Vapor Bunny in the house? What's up, lovely? So yeah, it's just to do me two videos a week, it really does take me a little bit of time. Now I've just watched Vapor Mavic do his little uh, uh, how to record reviews video the other day and uh, he has really got it down the T. It takes him, he can get the editing done within half an hour and stuff and he's really got all his templates set up. It takes him a little bit quicker to me than me because he does it full time so he's obviously, he knows his software uh, inside out. But sometimes it takes me four to six hours worth of editing just to do one video, or more than that sometimes. It depends how many fuck ups I did when I was actually recording it. Yeah, exactly, just to do a picture as well, like the vape man said. It's, uh, yeah, it's not just a case of snapping and getting it up there. Because all the thumbnails I do on here, I, I take a picture and then I have to edit the picture as well. And then I have to put the graphics on there and the writing and all of that. It is, um, there's a lot involved. When you're doing uh, reviews for a channel, it takes up a good deal of your time, especially if you are working full time as well. So it's something to be uh, considered, the fact that, um, yeah, if you want to do reviews uh, there, guys, and you wanted to take it seriously, you are, you've basically got to sacrifice a lot of your time. Trigger vapes, well, to be honest, mate, he's not, Vic isn't really using that much different. It's only recently he's been starting to use the DSLR cameras, isn't it? He used to use the C920 cams as me, and they are 1080p uh, cameras, so there's nothing wrong with these webcams, especially for live streaming. And uh, I also use my phone, the Huawei, uh, what's it called, the P can't remember what it's called now is it the p20 pro or something that's got a good little camera the first uh, eight months to 10 months of the channel i was using the lg g5 uh, all-in-one phone to do everything on here so it can be done with just a, a camera phone because to be honest the uh, the phones on these latest camera f uh, phones are, are really good the cameras are what's up nature vape just talking about uh, your shop earlier, actually, Nature Vape. Got the uh, Mason RTA here, one of my favourite tanks at the moment. The review will be up when I can be, uh, when I get around to actually recording it. But you can buy this at Nature Vape if you want to check it out. UK company. We've also got the True RTA, which is one that Nature Vape and EH Pro made this is a mouse lung rta and it's a really good tank if you want to check out my review please do so uh, if you like your like restrictive draw mouse lung i think you would enjoy that but if you want to buy it you can get it from naturevape.co.uk there you go nice plug for you sir yeah lethal i was using my phone for ages i did some download stuff last week using my phone as well so nothing wrong with doing that at all, mate. Cheers, Daniel. Uh, what's the name? Daniel Beaven. Thank you very much, sir. Appreciate that. Yeah, P20, that's what it's called. The P20 Pro I've got, Biscuit Vapes. Uh, really awesome camera on this. And the video as well. You can do 4K on this thing if you really want to. Was I a heavy smoker, Carlo? I used to smoke about 15, 20 a day, but I also used to smoke the uh, the funny stuff as well. So 
the equivalent when you have one of those you're talking like 10 10 times the car, tar content uh, the old wacky wacky so uh, yeah I used to have a lot of tar going into my system so and I also used to smoke roll ups as well without filters on them well, I did start using menthol filters towards the end but uh yeah, I wasn't on 40 or 50 a day, but like I say, I'd have 10, 50 normal cigarettes and probably another five or six doobies as well in the evening. So it was enough, do you know what I mean? Do I vape the wacky backy? No, I don't do anything like that, mate. I totally gave it up about f five years ago or so. What's up, old bear? Sean will be here in a minute. Do you want to come on, Lise? No, I've got cold. Lise isn't too well, actually. The old <laughs> bear, grumpy old vapor on Facebook. Uh, ben Bennett, even. <laughs> now, she's been a bit ill for the past two weeks, mate. She's not up for it tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. I used to be a lot less stressed. I know that, uh, Mark T. Because uh, you tend to use it for escapism. Fifty to sixty a day if it's not work and working ten fifty. Yeah, when I used to do removals and stuff like that, I used to do shop deliveries, but delivering furniture for bills in uh, Bournemouth and all around the south coast. Basically, it was basically a case of doing a delivery, getting back in the van and lighting up. So when I was doing that, I was smoking about 20 or 30 a day, plus whatever I was doing in the evening as well. That's all right, Nature Vape, no worries, mate. Hope she's not sick in the mornings. No, there's no chance of that anymore, mate. Thirty-five years I smoked. The best thing I ever did was to vape. Sorry, I've, I've read that really wrongly there because there was no punctuation in it. Uh, you smoked for thirty-five years, and the best thing you did was to vape. So, yeah, anyone who's just stumbling across this and you're a smoker, get into vaping because it gives you a better hit, and it doesn't make you feel like you're going to cough your guts up in the morning. And it's 95 to 97% proven safer than smoking cigarettes. So, yes, it's not perfectly safe, but I try giving up with other sort of uh, methods, HRT and all that bollocks. But it's the thing is with vaping, you're still getting the proper sensation of uh, smoking. Now, I've managed to give up bloody the wacky stuff and just vape now, so it must be good. No worries, Carlo. It's just that I was reading it and it just came out wrong. A good tank, this one, this Serpent Elevate. If you like your single core natties, check out my review. And uh, yeah, it's a little bit finicky to wicking on that Elevate, but if you nail it, it's a really cracking vape. And I've got it about 43 watts. So if you don't like 80, 100 watts, because a lot of you out there aren't going to like your dual core natties. One like the Serpent Elevate is a really good. Uh, direct along with a restrictive element to it yeah it don't make you smell tvd <laughs> no, I'd see. yeah exactly whatever it was it didn't work put pups smoking killed my uncle when he was 17 walked across the road to buy some fags and he got it by the number 14 bus fucking hell Yeah, it's not good, is it? Sorry to hear that, uh, old bear. I don't know if you're actually joking or not, but it uh, sounds like you're not. Swirling neck, never gone over 30 watts. There's a lot of people out there that don't like their high wattages. I like it now and again. Like, I've got the... We've got the stacked here. We've got it 62 watts, 0.16 bill. This gives a really nice hit on it. If you're having a beer, I do like to have a bit of nicotine. So we've got a dual coil in there, 62 watts. It's 0.16 build, it's lovely. It 
it was wacky backy what started me smoking vape man yeah exactly that's the trouble because you end up having to have a fab because you can't always smoke the wacky backy uh, in places can you the proof for me was uh, vaping is way healthier walking upstairs used to get out of breath now it's gravy baby never short of breath exactly exactly papa so like me i walk to and from work every day about 25 30 minutes uh, i also used to cycle it i don't do the cycling anymore because i've got a bit of a dodgy wrist but uh, yeah, you can do that sort of thing. Go out for an hour long bike ride in that. You come back, you can stop halfway and have a vape and carry on going. You used to smoke. You used to be coughing your lungs up when you're doing it. 65 to 75 watts for cyclic Scooby and uh, steam crave tanks. I haven't got any steam crave tanks, uh, Chrissy. They're too expensive for me. I'm a tight wad. Now, I would like to get one at some point. I'm hoping they reduce the price a little bit. What's up, John Deering? A regular commenter on my videos. Yeah, she's all right, John. She'll be all right soon, buddy. Thanks for that. Vaping also helps if you have COPD. Well, Lisa's mum's got that, but she gave up smoking and everything because uh, she was finding that um, she just didn't want to do anything after that because she's a, a little bit older and um, I didn't think she really got on with vaping but she's managed to cut it all out so if you can do that then fair play isn't it but yeah I'm sure that vaping has got to be a lot healthier than smoking if, you're, uh, if you've got COPD I'm missing out am I I'll have to see then cyclic on the old what what one do you like the glass something like that yeah never had a steam crave item i can't believe it what website do i use i use 3f8 fast tech i also use some uk sites sr vapes vaping 101 gray haze e-sig one they I, I look around for deals mate you can find deals everywhere I got this Skystar the other day. I think it's from Cloud Sticks for fifteen twenty pounds. It might have been Esig one. I can't remember. Vapor Depot. They sometimes have deals on Nature Vape. They're a good little site there. And he's in chat as well. Two pluses, the Titan and the Glass. Plus is my favourite. Yeah, I need to get hold of that plus i remember yeah, two or three years ago watching one of vic's reviews this is when i was first started watching his channel and he really did sell it to me watching that uh, plus because uh, how many milliliters is it old is it 20 or something i know the titan's about 28 mil but uh, yeah i never got around to buying it because i have a little rule on my channel anything that's only over 30 pound for an atomizer i don't buy because I buy so much stuff and I have to review it, I can end up spending two or three hundred pounds in a month. So if it's like 40 or 50 pounds, uh, I just think it's, it's not cost effective for what I'm actually doing. So I try to review stuff that's uh, more affordable on the channel. What's that? Simply e-liquid vape man. Just so happens he's sending me something out actually. Is it simply liquid? I can't remember now. The old uh, Ultrasonic or U-Sonic Generation 3. Let's just have a look at my emails. Where did I get it from? Simply liquid, yeah. He's uh, kindly sending me out something for a review, so I'm looking forward to that. Right. Jason, Mike, Vapor 101 and Authentic Goon 1.5 for £23. I've got the SXK version of that and I love it. And apparently that's better than the original. So I probably won't go out and buy it. But thanks for giving us the heads up on that one, Jason. I closed my fast set recently, made because of the forum spam and someone hacking my personal details. Well, I've, I just use it to buy stuff. I don't actually uh, go on their forums or anything swirling. So... I don't know how they could have got into your personal details there, but uh, sorry to hear that. I 
I don't get anything for Christmas, mate. I just buy it myself. Or I might get some socks or something. John, I always check the clearance section on all vaping websites. Found some awesome deals that way. Yeah, exactly. That's why I'm just scouring the internet all the time for, for bargains. Vapebargains.co.uk. There's all sorts of things you can check out. Esig One have had some cracking sales on recently. You'll be starting to focus on juice reviews now. Thoughts, MFA? Uh, for me personally, Lethal, I don't like doing juice reviews because my palette isn't that great and I find it harder work than doing hardware. So for me, I've done about five juice reviews on the channel and I didn't really enjoy doing them. But obviously, juice can be a, a little bit cheaper. So if you want to crack on and do it, then fine. But uh, for me personally, I find it a little bit subjective anyway. I know that everything's subjective, but uh, what I think might taste good, someone else might not. But uh, you've got to crack on with whatever floats your boat, mate. There's a lot of good juice reviewers out there. Another vape channel who's not in chat tonight. We've got TBD, the big dripper. They enjoy doing their juice reviews, so... I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it at all. I just prefer doing hardware on my channel because it's what actually it gives me a buzz doing the hardware side of things. But juice doesn't really, I don't feel uh, natural doing them, so I don't like to do them. Oh, Bold Vape, good shout there, Big Dripper. Yeah, we've got the Kylin 2 here on the, what's this called? The Liverpool 200. This is a decent mod and it weighs absolutely nothing. Dual 18650. The Kylin, I've got a single 4mm in a diameter core. It's actually quite a nice vape on it. In dual core, it's nice as well. But you, you've got to bump the wattage up and I don't really always like having too much wattage. Cheers, Robert. Uh, yeah, I, I've never really thought about the Titan, to be honest. It's too big, mate, but uh, I appreciate the offer. I've, I've got so much stuff in at the moment, mate. I can't even review what I have got, so I probably don't need anything else, but I do appreciate the offer, buddy. And I'll be in contact if, I'm, uh, if I change my uh, mind, mate. What's up, Andy Summerfield? Um, I don't know, mate. He's probably falling asleep again, Andy. Yeah, I haven't got any messages. <laughs> It'll turn up at half ten again when I've had enough. Cheers, Robert. Yeah, I will do, buddy. Like I say, at the moment, I'm just snowed under with, with stuff in. So, but yeah, it is one of those tanks. I've got nothing it will fit on either. Saying that, though, this Liverpool holds the holds 30 mil on there. Let's get the old papers cloud on it. What do I do with that? <clears throat> yeah, so I've got this, another 30 millimeter, millimeter tank. Vapors cloud, the uh, VCMT2. I found it a bit of a pain in the arse. I wicked it up for the first time last night, but just to take it apart, it's sort of on, it's got the old like notches in it and stuff like that, so it's not not on thread. So I found it really annoying. And the airflow control spins too freely. Look at that. So, yeah, the vape quality isn't the best either. I think you need to do this at about 1,000 watts. Let's put it up to about 90. Here we go, we've got a 0.24 on it. Yeah, to be honest, Sean, yeah, this isn't my favourite tank at all. I put two builds in it last night and they both taste shite to me. The FP pisses all over it, mate. And this drip tip on it is just massive. Let's put something else on it.
there. It's just too big, the chimney section on it's too big, so you're not getting the flavour. But I've, I've watched reviews on it, and they really rated it, so I don't know how they could have done. But anyway, the point was, the Liverpool 200 by, oh, who makes this? Yosta. It actually fits the 30mm device on there. Is there any overhang? We might have half a mil of overhang on it. So, yeah, the Titan's going to be a lot, lot of an overhang on that one. You think you're ready? Fuck knows how we're going to do this, Sean. What I might have to do, guys, is just take a break. Try to get hold of Sean a minute. I'll leave it going and we'll see what happens. And I'm not going to start swearing like a bitch either. Have you got VC installed yet, Sean? If I use Hangouts though, I've got to stop this stream basically, so. Sean, I need your email address, mate, and then I'll invite you. Put it into chat, on the, put it in the messenger. Everyone who's uh, watching at the moment, um, just trying to invite Sean into a conversation using VC. So this could go all pear shaped, but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the uh, watching it all. Are you listening to me, Sean? I need you to put your email address in Messenger on Facebook. But then I need to invite you onto VC. Hang on, I could just share the link. Let's do that. Yeah, I'll share the link with you, Sean. Try that. So I'll try and add that into my VC. Right, just to entertain yourself, guys. Get lethal. Oh, do you? Oh, you can show us how to do it in lethal. Are you on Messenger, uh, Lethal? What's your email address? It's not working on that. This is where it all goes peaks on. <coughs> right. How 
had you had a fucking contact? Right, I've invited you, Sean, so look at your emails, mate, on Gmail. And Lethal, are you on Messenger? I'm not sure you're friends with me on uh, Facebook Messenger. Right, oh, he's put it on there. Right, okay. Stop talking in chat so I can copy his thing. There we go. Right, lethal's on there. I'm phoning you, uh, Lethal. Why aren't you accepting the call? I'm phoning you at the moment, Lethal, so answer the call, mate. Very funny, say. He's not answering. Why are you not answering, Lethal? Lethal, I'm trying to ring you on the chat and you're not answering me. Sean, I've sent you an email on VC. It's not working. Whatever email address he's given me isn't working because he's not picking it up. I'm not having a meltdown, Jason. I'm very calm mate I'm just trying to sort it because it's best to have all three people on the screen and it's the only way of learning is by trying it so what's up ABC don't try and wind me up uh, Kieran just because you're not doing it mate when you come to doing it I'll be doing the same back I've got it all right Sean's got to download it what's what's lethal's excuse why is he not getting back to me Right, Chris Amber. Right, let's try and put it on here. Right, I will have a meltdown in a minute. Where's um, where is Lethal then? Because he, someone's told me to invite him on, but he's not talking to me on anything, not on chat or anything. So where is he gone? No, he doesn't want to come on, obviously. So. It was Chris Dorr that told me to get Leaf on, so what's going on then? <laughs> Seems to be downloading it, what a shit show. You should have done this earlier, Sean, I did tell you about it. But at least you've actually tuned in, unlike someone else.
Chris, so I've already emailed um, Lethal. He put it in chat, and and I'm talking to you on there. I'm 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 ringing you, Lethal, and you're not answering the call. It's probably Mike Mike dot four the lethal. Like I say, just answer it. <clears throat> I'm currently ringing lethal on a VC and he's not answering it so what's he doing I've also messaged him on Facebook <laughs> what's up There we go. What's up? There we go. There we go. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? I can hear you. So how do I get this into OBS then? Uh, add a new source, window capture. Window capture. You see how calm and collective I am tonight, mate? I do. You yeah. sound very calm and collective. What I've got to do though is shrink my um, picture on there. Everyone yep. in chat um, just do what you got to do. Can you guys see me? No, I haven't done it yet, mate. Oh, oh, oh. well, can you see me? I can, no, I haven't. But if, what is it? Window capture? Yep. Right. That you did pop me out, right? No, I haven't popped you out. See, see, this is what I'm saying, man. Unless you know what you're doing. How'd you pop you yep. out? Yep. Yep. Actually, pop me right out. How'd you do it? Uh, down, go mouse over my picture. Right, I've and done then, it, yeah. But I All have right, to cool. keep the rest of it on, though, still, do I, in the background? No, no, no. If you've got me popped out, then uh, you can just add that window. Yeah, but, but the other screen, do I leave that up still, though, or not? No. If I cr Yeah, but if I cross it, it'll probably end the call, won't it? Or not? No, because no. we're already called, so it's just the OBS now. No, it says leave call, minimize window, or cancel. So I'll just minimize that. Right, here we are. We've got um, your screen here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Fuck's sake. It's got the wrong one on there. Oh. Right, oh, let's do that again. Windows capture. Right, look. That's the one, isn't it? The one that says lethal cause. Are you still there? Yeah, of course I am. Yes, sir, right, yes, sir. Let's have a look on YouTube. Can we see? This is the worst thing. At least with Zoom, it does it automatically, doesn't it? We've got to get yeah. Sean in a minute as well, so I better not make us too big. How's we doing, everybody? <laughs> it fucking can, works, he says. Can I hear you? Uh, I don't know. Can you guys hear me? It sounded like they could when I uh, had can, the sound on. Can you see. hear? Uh, yep, they can hear me. Can it? Oh, fuck me! I've learnt something. <laughs> Hello, Miko Boo. Oh Miko. yeah, boy. Yeah. We are dual streaming. There we go. What's up, with Sleazy? You saying he needs a computer? Haven't you got a computer, Sean? You don't have a computer? Even I've got a computer, mate. I'm a technophobe. What's up then, Chris? You alright, mate? I am. I'm doing just dandy. What did I do with my bottle of juice? It's over there, of course. Lisa's in chat gaily. Nice to see you, by the way. Uh, she's not, not quite there, okay. but she is sitting on the sofa. So you can say yeah. hello to her there. Uh, apologies for the mess. I'm in the, the process of uh, 
rearranging and reorganizing again. That's all right, mate. All I can see is you'll kill them all on the wall, mate. <laughs> oh, yes. That's kill them all. Let God sort them out. <laughs> you know? I've got a but, kettle in my background, Chris. <laughs> hey, you know? I was doing my uh, my lives when I first started. I was doing a lot of them from the kitchen, to be honest. Yeah, it's nothing wrong with wherever you do it from, is there, buddy? No, there is not. There's uh, there's something to be said for using the environment that you have, and using the uh, resources at your disposal. Well, you exactly. Know. Yeah, we we're all evolving, aren't we? So. Oh, of course. You know, gradually you move up, you get better equipment, you get a space that you can actually, you know, call your own that you can set up and not have to take down, yeah, exactly. which is another thing that I'm doing is setting up, uh, rearranging my, my layer that I, I've had for a while down in the basement and uh, fixing it into some place where I don't have to move anything. Yeah. I can just leave everything set up all the time yeah that's what and, i mean yeah. and i haven't got that luxury yet because we've got a full house mate we've got um the two boys still living here uh there's no oh, rooms geez. available so even the living room there's because there was talk about us partitioning a little bit of the living mm. room but if someone's watching the telly it picks up on the this yeti microphone picks up on everything mate so oh, do you know man, what I, mean? I need one of those no it's good but it doesn't half pick up on stuff mate. If, I, if i open the window you can hear the fucking traffic because someone just before I started streaming, he, <laughs> he, he was sitting there with his engine running. I had my headphones on. It was just like, do you know what I mean? Really loudly. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's just it's quite hard to just uh, have everything set up for me because there's just not enough uh, room in the house. But you just yep. you just work to what you've got, don't you? So oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it's um, me right now. I'm stuck with these this headset here. Uh, with the microphone on it, but I'm looking into. Um, I would love to get a Yeti, but uh, that's kind of out of my price range at the moment. Yeah, I got so, on a special uh, when I did get it, uh, Chris. I got it for. It was still expensive. It was eighty quid, eighty pounds, but Jesus, it was still. Um, it was a lot cheaper than I think it was a third off. So. Oh wow! All right. Yeah. yeah. It was something like that. So. But, yep. So like I said, I've been going a year before I actually bought it. I bought the C920 webcam, but I only paid twenty nine ninety nine for that as well. And I just bought another one the other day for twenty four ninety nine. Amazon had the deal even better this time, and they're normally like seventy eighty pounds. So in dollars, you're talking about a hundred, aren't you? So yeah, about a hundred, hundred and ten at that rate. Um... Hang on, uh, just just one minute, uh, Sean. My computer's shit. I can't get the app to unzip. <laughs> I'm Why messaging him right to... now. Yeah, you saw that. I might. I'm just going to nip to the loo a minute, Chris. Is that all right? You going to do what? Just nip to the toilet, Matt. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for it, Cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. Get seven zip, Sean. Get seven zip. Or win zip or winrar, actually, because I don't think they even do win zip anymore. Shoot it, BZ. He says. AVC, how you doing? Actually, now that I'm here and talking, I don't have to type so much. I just wanted to shout out to you guys. Thanks uh, so much, guys, in chat. The support for Mike is great. And uh, to all of my homies, hello. Thank you. Thanks for the votes of uh, coming on the show here. But it seems that I've, I've been guest turned host at the moment until he returns I need to get a cool looking logo like Mike has I am doing very well there uh, Gailey <coughs> hello Goober hello Liz oh yeah no I'm already there I'm already on live chat so damn it you know it's funny I have to watch the the stream on on YouTube because he was already in the call through and was going through OBS so I can't see his camera at all <laughs> wait what no do a dance but there's no music I can't I don't know what to uh somebody get a beatbox going and I'll I'll start doing some dance you, you <laughs> Is Mark asleep again? Yeah, 
uh, from what I hear, something similar to that. Oh, you... AVC. <laughs> LCL, will I do a live coil build? I could probably set that up. Yeah, uh, that's something I could definitely do. I haven't actually done uh, any building live in quite some time, so that, that might actually be a... Uh... Right, what's up, mate? Oh, um... I was just asked by LCL90 if I would do a uh, live coil build, and I haven't done one in quite some time now. So, uh, I mean, I'm, I'm thinking that might be a thing I do uh, soon. Yeah, definitely, man. Yeah, I know a few others that do things like that. Uh, I think I've seen Big Boy doing before and vaping at Pete's place. I think they yep. do things like that, don't they? Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, and Divine 83 does it. Yeah. Um, who else? There's Well, I don't know about live, but I've seen... Uh, Kazor, the South African vapor, their reviews there. Um, I oh, know yeah. he's done some live builds, or not live builds, he's done some coil building stuff. Um, primarily, I think, if I remember right, he primarily uses the Daedalus Pro, which is perfect because I don't see any um, any other real um, coil building tutorials that use those, and that's a great tool for people that are, are looking into getting into coil building all right well, it definitely makes things a lot easier what's that a d dataless or dataless you say yes one sec right so so where is sean beasy then has anyone heard from him have we heard from sean before we get into this so i just want to make sure sean's not waiting there somewhere man hang on um i did you have it can't get the shit to work did you right click it <laughs> um, so I've got someone else who's worse than me at using tech. It seems. So that's. Uh, oh that's yeah, yeah, I've seen those sort of things. Yeah. Um, they had the first version, the uh, original, which didn't have all of the tools that the pro version comes with. The pro version is set up like the first version was pre pretty much just designed for Clapton's and fused Clapton's. Um, but the pro version is actually set up and has the equipment to accommodate for a variety, a big variety of different types of coils that you can make. Um, right, Chris, just I've just got to stop you there, man, because Sean's getting he's messaged me saying he can't do it. Oh. I've got to have it download the app on the computer. I, why? What? What's the problem, Sean? I can't. Even I can download fucking VC, man. Hey, here's a here's an idea, Sean. Do you have a phone? <laughs> you yeah. can get VC on your phone, yeah, bro. Yeah, get VC on your phone. I have it, and I can do calls all over the place. Try getting it on your phone there, brother. Yeah, and who was it there? Uh... Oh, Jason. All right, bro. I'll definitely do that. Um... Let me add you now, actually. Jason Carruthers. Oh, we're already friends. Ha 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 ha. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. I'll definitely message you afterwards. Um, who was it? Sleazy Beasy, get your dick out. Now... Right, what's no. Sean saying now? My uh, phone is just about dead. Don't know what the problem is. I'll download it and run it. It says access oh. denied. Access denied. Are you using Android, Sean? Hmm. I think I've got it on my phone. Me too. If I can just download it just like that. Mm -hmm. That's on your computer, he said. He said your phone's dead. Plug your phone in and charge it up at the same time, Sean. <coughs> Fuck it, have fun, he says. Oh, that's on my computer. I think he's shy. Um. Is it the... Where's this fucking... Uh, 
Where's his email address again? Wait, what if... It's gonna sound funny. What if you called him in a chat on Facebook? Yeah, try it, I suppose. And then you can port yeah. him in through there. Yeah, all right. That was just an idea. No, but... it is an idea. It doesn't matter what you're using, does it? No. It shouldn't do. Oh, Santa wants to use my microphone and that. Sean and Shy, Sean and Shy do not belong in the same sentence, LOL. Hang on. When I'm doing that, it's saying it wants to use my fucking microphone and that, though. Is that going to let me do it at the same time? Um, I think so. As long as it's set to using your the mic, it should. Fucking hell, Sean. I can't believe you're more of a technophobe than me. <laughs> <laughs> Would it not have been easier restarting the stream and using Hangouts? Uh, we'll do that in a minute. But... Serial, not really. Um, it's in my experience, using Hangouts is actually more difficult than using VC is, to be honest with you. Well, yeah, and the fact that we've that mean redoing the whole stream, so everyone would yeah. have to find the new stream and everything. Right. Um, oh. Right, I'm just trying requesting video. Sure. Oh, man, it's just got a black, dark screen on it. <laughs> when having problems with tech, get a ten-year-old to do it. Seriously, <laughs> schooling now? Oh man, it, they're almost computer programmers by seventh grade. There he is. Right. Okay. Get some light on yourself, Sean. You look grainy as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Right. So, I really like the profile RDA, but here's my thing about it, is I'm not sure I like it as a dripper. Right. Hang on, hang on, Chris, I can't talk at a moment. I'm, no, using I'm using Facebook Messenger, but it's got me on the bottom of his fucking screen. How do you pop it out using Facebook Messenger? Use the little arrow key. Can you? What, the enter full screen, that says? Mm. Yeah. Oh no. Can you add it as a window? Let's have a look. Let's try adding it. I mean, it might have, oops, it might have the borders and stuff, but. So, where's the OBS gone? Uh, window capture. Jeez, <laughs> man. Oh, it's so neat. Jason Carruthers says, at Lethal, Barclays Bank in the UK teaches 7 to 12 year olds how to code. Right, I'm trying to. F I've got so many. Jason Carruthers says, at. What's going on now? I don't know. Nothing as far as I Hang can on. see. I'm hearing. I've got so many fucking windows open now, it's doing my nothing. <laughs> the OBS is. I, I don't know what one it is. Facebook uh, call. Facebook call. Why isn't it saying one that says Facebook call on it? Facebook call, is that it? Oh, <laughs> oh, Can you man. maximize that call? Why can't I see anything else now? Right. Oh, nothing. It's, I it's just black. Else. Why is that just black? <laughs> Fucking hell, Sean, you pain in the ass. Oh, I'm just mo moving the there door on there. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> you, you didn't get rid of us, you just covered us. <laughs> Sean, yours is just black, mate. I've got to remove that. It's obviously not the right one. I don't know. Right, it is there. Why can't you just fucking drag and drop like you can with anything else in the world? Oh, you can sake. never make it that easy anymore. Where Come am I? Now. Where have I gone now? <laughs> it's fucking not there anymore. Holy shit. <laughs> you fucked it now, Sean, didn't you? Right, um... 
Dis what what is my normal one? Is it a display capture? What what's my one, uh, Chris? I can't <laughs> think at the moment, mate. I am going to start losing the plot in a minute. Is it uh, display capture? <laughs> is it Probably. display or fucking? No, display ca capture. Media I think, source, is the whole isn't screen. it? That's it. Right, media yep. source. No, it's not media source. Mm. Um, it should be video should capture be device that's what it is yes there you go <laughs> and that's exactly the reason why I can't see you in the call I have to watch the live stream oh, because your your camera's already been taken up by oh, I see, OBS yeah. <laughs> right so how do I get fucking Sean in there <laughs> <laughs> window capture and then your uh, uh, browser I think maybe like I said it might have the borders and stuff <clears throat> but oh is that you Sean yeah. who are you talking to though me Right, Sean. Whenever I put it on there, it's just got a blank, a black screen for the Facebook one for some reason. That's perfect. Why is it only got a black screen? I don't know. <laughs> uh, yes, vape man. Mine has two O rings. Sean, why can't you get VC to work, man? I don't know. It won't let me open the app on my computer every you, time I open it. You up, don't need to use an app. Tonight. You just use. You download the program. Yeah, the program. Even when I download cool. the program, it says access denied. I can hear him. <laughs> Sean never looked so good, says Trigger. It obviously doesn't like capturing Facebook, then, this shit. Mm. <sighs> right. See. Don't worry about it too much. No, it's annoying the fuck out of me now, because I can't understand why you've got a problem. Try downloading VC again, man. I did it four times. It's got to be my computer. It won't let me open it up. It says access denied. It's my... It's this piece of shit computer. Have you tried it by just down, downloading it from the, the VC website? Because that's how I did it. Yeah. Yeah. Let me see here. Right. This is really annoying me how I can't just capture. Why can I capture all the rest of the screens but not your one? Right. Something. Is anyone looking at chat? Ow. Try try game capture and then capture specific window. Game capture, where's that right? Okay. Game capture. Because I've just got mine open. Don't worry now about it too I'm much, Mike. I'm looking through the options here, trying to help you out. Window. VC call. Oh fuck off. <laughs> specific window. Where is it? Window. Why, right, what, they're all just VC coming up on that. So Facebook doesn't even show up on the list. Hmm. Facebook obviously isn't a very good way of doing it. What about what it, Skype? What's, what's your, um, oh yeah, you could probably do Skype. If he's got it. Oh, what about browser? That's browser. You want me to try it on one? Skype, Mike? Let's try proud. I don't understand why this ain't fucking working, man. Over this project. No, I don't think it's browser. Have you heard from Mark? No. Mark Solom? No, um, Robert. He's supposed to be in here with us. TV oh, I haven't heard from him, no. Well, no, see, to be honest with you, I don't have kind of the connection with Mark that a, a lot of you guys do. Oh, yeah, I was um, talking to Sean on that one, man, because oh, I thought you might have heard shit. of him from tonight. Right. He's supposed to be in here. 
Right, yeah, Facebook one isn't letting me drag it for some reason. It's just black screen, so mm. it's obviously. Do not you have an? Do you have an address? Uh, Put you me in a hangout address then. for your your chat and with then him? just broadcast me. If we go on the hangouts, we're going to have to close this whole stream down. Then that's that's the only thing. But we can no, do that. Just put me on a hangouts. You know what I mean? All oh, right. Okay. Let's try that. Let's hangouts. Yeah, I've got hangouts open too. Right. Hangouts. The trouble with hangouts, it's shite. Right. But yeah, but if you're just broadcasting me work. and putting me on the screen, it should all be right, all right. Your name, email, phone. I'm gonna write you in there now. Mike. Dot. Forber. Yeah, yeah, but you you were just saying we just wanted to have Sean in there, though, didn't we? I'm not. I don't know you on Hangouts though, because I'm looking on here. That's though. that's what I'm just adding you right. into right now. Uh, option. So I don't know how to use Hangouts. So how, how do you add someone into Hangouts? You invite them with their. Gailey uh, says, "Sean, restart address. your computer. Try again. BC didn't update earlier." Oh yeah, Jason's right. If he just downloaded it, it should be the most up-to-date one. But wait, why did it even come in a, a zip file? Yeah, did you no, download? that's what I'm saying. I don't think you've downloaded the right thing, Sean. Is Here, it, let me send the link zip, for it. Man. It says VC download. I'll send you a link right? there, Ram. Yeah, but it might be one of those spam things, though. It's the one that you sent me. Yeah. Oh, right. That was from the. Yeah, this VC one's the invite. EXE. Here, hold on, Sean. Yeah, Try this one should not have an issue. I'm going to send it to you in Facebook. That should automatically, once you click on that link, it should just download that program. That's the actual download page. It shouldn't have come as a zip file at all. It should have been a .exe. Too late, tube. Just don't hang out with your wang out. That's what he says too late, too. Oh, man. Yeah, TBD, that's exactly the, the link that I sent him to. Yeah, it's the same exact fucking one. Oh, God, BZ's VC don't work right because he downloaded Fifty Shades of Santa. <laughs> This is like a how to stream show. Yeah, how to stream fucking badly and get me wound up show. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know? I, I can't believe that. We, I thought it was going so swimmingly getting Leaford on. And uh, have you already got VC? Is that the difference? Is it? Um, I, I've had VC for a while. Yeah. Yeah, I've had it this for a is, while as well. This I, is how me and. Um, Solo and do our lives. Yeah, because I, you know, on the actual VC program, all I did was press add and then invite or import contacts, and it took me to the website, uh, which okay. is the one that says VC invite and share. So I put invite people, put Sean's email address in, put I'm not invite, uh, not, I'm not a robot, and then invite, and then it sent him the invite. And so I'm not sure why that hasn't worked. Because my computer is a piece of shit, and it's shit. So it's is, been. It's not. It's not just been VC. There's a like I couldn't update my rage either because it wouldn't allow me to open the fucking program. Yeah, right. You've got some sort of block going on there or something. Yeah. Yeah, and everything says access denied. It'll just FB show. Oh, everything does. All oh, right. Okay. Any kind of oh new program that I download on. does. That's actually not a bad idea. Hang on, Sean. Uh, Chris is thinking of something. Uh, if you, uh, what's wrong with your phone then, Sean? You said it ain't got any battery power because it yeah. works really well on there, VC. Yeah, my phone is almost dead. Sean, if you can, add me to the call.
Because A, I can't hear you, and B, I might be able to squeeze you in on mine. No, I don't know if I can actually. Oh dear, fun and games, eh? Oh yes. Oh, okay. I think we. I think we can safely say that Mark isn't going to turn up, there. What's up, G? Thanks for tuning in, mate, briefly. Uh, a shame you've got to do your night shift, buddy. I'll see you again very soon. Right, I'm just going to talk to the chat for a minute, Chris, while you sort that out, mate, yeah? Sure. Uh, right, Goob of Apes, sleazy beasy, too much porn, laugh out loud. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> probably. <laughs> it's probably the most true thing we've heard all night. Oh, man. Sean can't hear us anymore unless he's listening to this. All right, you can't speak back anyway. Right, sleazy beasy, I've seen this issue a lot before. This, There is a virus on the PC stopping your computer from accessing admin privileges. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not the world's best for the tech at sorting out other people. Yeah, or it's a setting that hasn't, that needs changing. Yeah, but Chris, uh, oh, shit. He, he said that everything, all oh, right. He said that everything was fucking up there, didn't he? It wasn't just uh, VC. All right. Here's Sean. Let me see. Oh! Share. Right. You can, can you share that with me? Can you... Yes. Where is it? Then? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Did it not share to you? I don't know how are you sharing it via just on the screen. Uh, VC, VC. S screen share, right? Let's have a look. Ah, right. Yes, I can see him. Okay. Right, let's cool. pop him out now. Uh, what ones pop out again? Uh, I don't know if you can do it on. Oh right, is he here. just going to look like? Oh my God, what's he got on here? Yeah, it might just look like that, but Sean's got settings on there as well. <sighs> right. Hey, I can hear you though. You're, I can hear your vape at least. What, Sean? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right. I'll... So I just window capture that then. Is that what you're saying, man? Yep. Here we go. Can and can you get? Look... Can you ask Sean to get rid of that square at the bottom of his thing? Because that's annoying. I can do that. Yeah, he's done it. Yeah. Right. Uh... Oh shit! He ended the call. He ended it. Oh, right. I just made it. Oh, he's minimizing it. Let's see if he calls back. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. I thought we had it then. Yep, yeah, we did. We did. <laughs> it's not just our channel that has these problems. You and Mark had it the other day as well, didn't you? Oh, Mark, God. You know? Yes, we did. Yeah, it's a nightmare. And when you had knuckle on as well, you didn't have the bloody headphones plugged in enough, did he? Oh, God, yeah. Ralphie. Yep. Nobody could really hear him very well. No, I can. I had the telly turned right up, and whenever you two were speaking, it was really loud, and then you could only just hear him. Did he say anything to me? Right, what's Sean doing now? He's probably going to lose his rag in a minute. I could hear you. Where'd you go? I could see you too, by the way. Just as a note. Figured I'd add that in there. Oh man, no Mike, I know exactly what you're feeling right now. I've got that headache from hell myself. Sorry, bud. Yeah, we've lost yeah. all of our viewers now. We've only got 103 now. They're all going. 
Only 103. Well, we, I'd had, be a, we had about 128 earlier. I couldn't believe it. That's oh, without geez. TVP in. Most of them were probably after him, though, to be honest. But um, what can we do if he don't turn up, eh? What happened there? Sleazy. I didn't. Naping Noob, what's up, buddy? 15 million green bottles sitting on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> What's he doing then? I have no Not idea. Me. We got another blue for and a half here, haven't we? Apart from I'm actually not losing the plot just yet. Right? <laughs> Robert Clark, I'm not going anywhere. This is keeping me entertaining while I'm decorating. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you should carry on without him, says Carlo. Oh, oh, oh there we go. Got One sec. Hey, there you are. Can you see him, Mike? Let's have a look. You shared it again. Yep, I did share it again. What, on VC, yeah? All right. Let, let's just tell him not to touch anything now, and I will just add the window catcher and see if I can find it. I think it's that one. We got you, Sean. We've got... Oh, God, how do I... How's your voice there, Bob? Can you hear me? Sean can't hear me. Uh, oh! I can't hear Sean either, can you know... One sec. One second. One second. I know how to make you hear me. Properties. Advanced. No. Hello, Sean. Can you hear me now? Hear me now? Can you hear me now, Sean? No, still can't hear me, huh? All right, so we go like this. Settings. Hey, Sean, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? No, can't hear me now. How about now? Still nothing. He needs to look at his um, settings on VC to make sure that his mic and headphones are picking up the right thing. Oh, and he's not on VC though, remember? What's he on then? He's calling me through Facebook Chrome. Oh, right. Or Facebook, yeah. <laughs> Set your Oh, you wanker, sure. <laughs> to your wherever. Wherever you should be hearing it from. What's up, Matt? Matt Chandler's in the house. Matt Chandler, <laughs> how are you, buddy? Yeah, tell uh, Sean to just type in the chat whatever he's got to say, yeah? Oh, just type in the chat. <laughs> oh, we'll have to type to him. I can hear him just fine. Can you hear him? I can. Right, I can, I I can not... hear him. He can't hear me. I can't hear him either, though. So it's not picking up. The trouble is, it's picking up the window, but it isn't picking up the volume. Right. So why the hell is that? Do you? Do you, I? I can hear you. Yeah, I can hear you just fine. It's it's everyone else that can't. Right. Should we just fuck it off and put hangouts on them? If you're down for it, I am too. Our boys are going to be here all night, aren't we? Yeah. So, <laughs> now I've got to try and do that. Fuck it up. Jason, Mike, because you're casting not lethal. I've done pretty well to get it this far, to be honest, Jason. Look at Sean's stream. It's fucking dodgy as fuck there, isn't it? It's as fuck, isn't it? Have you got any other ideas with it? How to get the sound from that lethal? I I do not, but I do believe. Um, well, I I agree with you. If you want, we can cut the bullshit and we can just do the hangout. It is. I don't like to be defeated, but I I don't. You don't I, want to waste that much time with it either. 
Yeah, it's Hangouts. Right, we'll see you all in a bit then, guys. I'm going to end this stream now. Sure.